stock up, stock down as we transition to the National Football League. It's been a busy offseason. You and I have not yep. had an opportunity to discuss it here on this program. So let's isolate three teams, their offseason moves, and make the assessment of rather we're seeing them as a stock up proposition or a stock down proposition. First team up, the Washington Commanders. Stock down? And no, it has No way. Yeah, exactly. It has more to do with just their ownership and the things going on off the field. Now there's, you know, government's looking into whether or not they've been keeping proper books. You know, that, that story's out there. Government doesn't care about that. I mean, the commander's nickname, I think people liked Washington football team more than the new nickname that they have. So I know they added Carson Wentz and the division's kind of poor, but I didn't see any other impact moves outside of quarterback, which may only be a marginal upgrade over what they had if Wentz continues to struggle. So stock down for me with the commanders. I'm a stock down as well, specifically because of the Carson Wentz move. Now, it's not because I think Carson Wentz is necessarily a terrible quarterback. I just think he's an expensive quarterback that's going to delay you eventually finding the quarterback of the future. $28 million is his salary cap hit this year. When it flamed out in Philadelphia, at least he could point to the Eagles and say it was them. And the Eagles could point to Wentz and say it was him. And we were left to decide. But one year later, after flaming out in Indy, it's hard for Wentz to say, well, yeah, it was the Eagles and the Colts. I'm not the problem. He's the common denominator. He's the problem. Washington bringing him on, it's a patchwork type deal to try to get something going at quarterback, and it probably is a slight upgrade, but the longer you stick with him, the longer you're not trying to find the guy who actually could be a franchise quarterback for the future, like a Joe Burrow or whoever yep. could be a top pick right. coming out at some point in the future. So ultimately, it's a stock down because I think you're just wasting time with Wentz. You're essentially treading water. You might be okay, but you're, you're not going to compete at a high level, especially with the injury, injury concerns. Team number two. Glad this one made it into the list, and I shudder to think what your answer will be. The defending champion, Los Angeles Rams, a.k.a. your boys. Well, what would you guess I'm going to say here? I would have to imagine it's stock up. Ding, 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 ding. It's not like you, you came in it. here hyping Kansas today. <laughs> well, I mean, let's look at the Rams. They uh, extend Matt Stafford. Aaron Donald's coming back. They did lose Andrew Whitworth. That's a big loss. They lost Von Miller. That's a big loss. But... They added another Hall of Famer on that defense in Bobby Wagner, who's the exact kryptonite they need against the team that always beats them, the San Francisco 49ers, except for the most inopportune time for the 49ers. Wagner's exactly the type of player who can dominate against the 49ers. He's a tackling machine. He diagnoses things quickly. He makes them better in their hardest matchup in the division. Then they add Allen Robinson to offset the loss of Robert Woods. They still may get Odell Beckham Jr. back, and that offense should continue to grow with another year of Matt Stafford and Sean McVay kind of co blessing and getting on the same page pretty soon Stafford's gonna be able to run that offense for McVay and they still have a lot of weapons and three Hall of Famers on defense and the, the conference got significantly worse with all the talent drain great assessment I'm gonna go stock neutral for a lot of those reasons stock I neutral that. I think they did well I threw it in there and thought <laughs> it wouldn't work and then no one ever told me no so we're rolling with it because the graphic has been made stock neutral because they did all the stuff you talked about they got better this offseason but you're still combating the fact that you won the title, which means, let's be honest, a little bit of complacency is going to set in. You're probably not as hungry. You're on the uh, banquet rubber chicken circuit all winter long. Maybe you don't come in as fired up as you were last season. You got a target on your back. The schedule is going to involve you playing a lot of top teams. It's going to be tough to navigate. That's why it's so difficult to repeat. Everyone thought Kansas City was going to win eight Super Bowls with Mahomes. Mm -hmm. the They've slowly gone backwards each and every year. They won one, then they lost in the Super Bowl, then they didn't even make the Super Bowl. The Rams are facing that daunting challenge, but stock neutral because they made the team better with Wagner and Robinson. So this is actually a compliment. Okay. You don't need to applaud me or anything no, like that, but it is a compliment. I certainly won't. Stock neutral. All right, final team. The Pittsburgh Steelers, stock up or stock down? Stock up. Woo, Trubisky. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, I believe the 2022 version of Mitchell Trubisky will be a better quarterback for the Steelers team than the 2021 version of Ben oh Roethlisberger. My God. I certainly think defensive coordinators will have a more difficult time trying to game plan against Mitchell Trubisky because you have to stop both his ability to run and throw. With Ben Roethlisberger, you know only thing you have to do is get inside that pocket. He can't move. And Trubisky can throw the ball more than 11 yards down the field. Exactly. So I look at the talent they have on defense, led by T.J. Watt, Mike Tomlin as their head coach. I think they're going to rebound. I love them to win this division and make the playoffs. I think they're getting wildly disrespected in the futures market. I agree. It's a stock up. It's a small stock up. It's like a stock that's priced at 2105 and it comes out and it closes at 2130. You can make a little bit of money if you're trading in high volume. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be a small marginal move. Trubisky, eh. 
it might be a slight upgrade. You know, there's some upside there. Maybe it was the Bears who screwed him up. After all, <laughs> who are the Bears have they developing right quarterbacks? At that <laughs> the only team in history that hasn't had a 4,000-yard passer. Uh, they upgraded the offensive line. They signed three offensive linemen yeah, led by James huge. Daniels from the Chicago Bears. They're going to get better there. They still have weapons. Stable organization, solid defense. They brought in Miles Jack. They added some depth and Levi Wallace mm -hmm. and uh, Akello Witherspoon's coming mm -hmm. back at corner. It's not a reason to be overly excited, but I don't really see them being down. Roethlisberger was such an albatross of a quarterback. Exactly. It's, they're not down. So. All Mike Tomlin does is, you know, have winning seasons. Yeah. 15 Tomlin times in the NFL. He's he never had a losing steady. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.